together in Santa Monica. So keep in mind, um, not too far away from where this school shooting has happened sits the president miles away from Santa Monica College. The Secret Service again telling uh, the traveling pool, folks who travel and cover the president, we are aware of the incident. It is not impacting the visit. It is a local police matter at this point in time. So again, if you are just now joining us, uh, we have confirmation from Santa Monica police that there has been a shooting at Santa Monica College. Let's listen. Guns, and I'm like, and then I hear students running, and they're, like, going crazy. And I asked the guy, and he goes over, he's like, oh, they're the guy shooting on campus. And I, I ran to my car as quick as I could. I was just so scared. I didn't know what to do. Like, it was just... We thank you for we thank you for joining us. There are a lot of students behind here, very shaken, very confused by what's taken place here. You can see some of the students behind us here. We're in a group of uh, CHP patrol vehicles at this side of the campus. We've seen helicopters overhead. We've seen also uh, Santa Monica police and other agencies responding here. We've seen ambulances coming and going. All we know at this point, and all that we've been able to get confirmed, which we've been reporting on the air, is that there were multiple victims of this, and that the suspect is down on campus. Everyone here. Here, still trying to get information and the students who were on campus some of them told us they were told to either shelter in place that they were going to be locked down or that they needed to leave and i'm sorry i'm i'm trying to get some information from our our studio there but we were told that uh the students here tell us that they were either asked to shelter in place or to leave the campus immediately and uh, that they did that. did that, the ones we're speaking to here. They're trying to call home and let folks know that they are okay. Reporting live here from near the campus, Cara from CBS 2 News. Cara, we know you've been scrambling to get information. You've collected a lot in a very short while. I'm going to ask a question and say it the same way that Sandra did a moment ago. You may not have the answer, but we do have confirmation from the Santa Monica Police Department that a suspect is quoting now the Santa Monica PD down. Do we know if that means alive and in custody or dead? And I'm sorry, I couldn't hear all of what you had to say. There's a lot of commotion going on here. Uh, I'm going to let the camera pan off and show part of the scene. If you could repeat your question there, I apologize. I couldn't hear you. Trying to find out if there's any way of knowing when the Santa Monica Police Department confirms a suspect is, quote, down, does that mean alive and in custody or dead? It's a great question. I have been asking the California Highway Patrol, who is at this entrance, that exact question. When I first arrived, they told me they understood the suspect was in custody, but they said they would like me to get further confirmation from Santa Monica PD, who is handling this. Uh, they have been trying, I believe, you know, all these agencies working together to clarify that as well. Just unclear at this point. Again, this is preliminary information, breaking news just coming into our newsroom. All Santa Monica schools, Santa Monica College on lockdown because of a shooting. And Cora, it sounds like the shooting might have been near the campus when we're talking about buses and a person shooting into traffic. And then perhaps the gunman somehow got onto the campus and into the library. Is that your impression of what happened? That sounds about right from what we're hearing from students. Again, all of this very preliminary. But what we were hearing from some of the witnesses here who heard the gunfire is that it may have taken place in the library or very close to the library. When we first arrived, we can tell you that Santa Monica PD was interviewing a witness who was inside the library. And we're told he had quite a bit of information about what may have taken place. He is no longer behind us. I think Santa Monica PD took him with them because he may have had important information. Um, we do have some witnesses behind us who are continuing to talk with CHP and have gone onto campus. But let's pan around and show you a little bit of the scene here. You can see uh, some of the students who are on campus who are waiting, uh, you know, to find out more information here. And if we pan around to the side here, you can see the highway patrol vehicles as well. Uh, this is just a small amount of the force that we saw here. It appears many of these, uh, the law enforcement that responded has now moved onto campus. Uh, we have not been able to move in closer yet, but taking a closer look with this investigation, obviously obviously underway, trying to figure out exactly how many people have been hurt here uh, and whether that shooter has been wounded, is down, is in custody, all of that's still not clear. Cara, at the top of this very hour, nearly 48 minutes ago, you were not too far away at President Obama's fundraiser on the west side in the city of Santa Monica. Uh, you got to this area in how long? How long did it take and were you passing police cars or were they passing you to get to this site? 
to say it was five to ten minutes, uh, the drive here, very quick. And really, we were alerted because we were at a corner uh, on San Vicente where there was a protest taking place. There was a large group of people in the middle of the street, sitting down, actually protesting and calling for immigration reform. And a police car actually pulled through the middle with silence. We thought that was unusual, uh, and then, of course, we noticed a number of other uh, law enforcement vehicles headed this way, and, and that's when we came this way as well. But really, just five to ten minutes away, a massive force, obviously in place in this area already for the president. Actually, if we can pan over to